In today's video, we're going to talk about my hidden gem neighborhoods in Norfolk, Virginia. These five neighborhoods are ones that people never really talk about. Places where you might not even know exist in Norfolk. Some of the more hidden, but also some of the best, I think, for the price that you can find anywhere in Norfolk, Virginia. And we're going to talk about all the price ranges. And we're starting right now. So number one is River Point. So you've heard me talk about Talbot Park and other parts of Norfolk in the same section. Well, River Point is just north of places like Colonial Place, Ghent, and all the spaces that you might find that are very commonly talked about in Norfolk. But if you're looking on the map, you'll see, you see Granby Street right there. If you come up in the north part of Granby Street, there's some areas I've talked about Talbot Park and then right just north of River Point. But this section here, almost like the Italian boot of Norfolk, and it's like it's flexing, like a, 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 a arm flex, this little corner here is River Point, and it's got real nice water access. A lot of these houses mostly were built in the 40s and 50s, kind of the traditional style and, and appearance that you might picture when you think about a lot of parts of, of Norfolk. But you've got different types of houses in here. You've got houses in the four to 500,000 price range, smaller houses. Then you have some that into the six, seven, and eight, and million dollars in overpriced range, you can get closer to the water and also on the water. So, Because if you see, a lot of these water access points on the water are really, really nice. Panoramic views of the Lafayette River and a lot of these corners over here. Well, it's not a very big neighborhood, but because you're right off of a main road, you don't expect the quietness and the full of nature, just that relaxed feel. And it's very convenient. You're about 10 minutes or so away from Norfolk Navy Base. You're also less than 10 minutes away from Ghent. So you're equidistant to a lot of the main spots on the corners of Norfolk and you're also close to Granby Street, which can take you north and south on Norfolk and Norfolk as well. Now the biggest con to this neighborhood is flood insurance is often necessary uh, in this area, especially as you get closer to the water. So you may see prices in the five and sixes. Sometimes you might notice that, that that payment for that house might be higher than what another house for that same cost might be. That shifts me over to another neighborhood I love on the west side of Norfolk called Lock Haven. This one's sneaky because if you're going up in this corner, sometimes you're going this way to get towards the Norfolk Navy base because you're really close to here. And if you notice, you're like in your West Little Creek Road, in your Terminal Boulevard, a lot of these places are pretty commercial looking as you get out of this neighborhood. But when you turn into the neighborhood, just into there, it turns into some magical land. <laughs> I love this neighborhood. You have some houses in, on streets that are just off of the main road that are in like the 450 to 550 to 600,000 dollar price range. But as you get you know larger, 3,000, 2,500 up square feet, you're, you're talking closer to six, in higher seven and eight, and along the water, some of these real panoramic views around the like there's a little bay area on the south side of Lock Haven. Some of these are in the nine to million and over price range. But this is also extremely quiet for where you are. You're surrounded by, you're just south of the Norfolk Navy base. You're only a few minutes away from the base. But the styles of these houses are very unique. These are anywhere from like the traditional Norfolk houses. You got some like some European feel in some of these, these uh, uh, houses. A lot of unique sl uh, slanted roofs. Things you don't always find in every part of Norfolk, you might find in Lock Haven. You're also walking distance to a very prestigious uh, museum, the Hermitage Museum, which is on the south side of Lock Haven. You can literally walk there from your, your house if you're living in Lock Haven. A lot of weddings happen here. It's a great view from the water. Now the cons, the biggest two drawbacks to me would be one, you are close to a lot of uh, commercial feeling areas that you get out of the neighborhood. Uh, so if you don't like that, you want to be near areas that feel a lot more alike as you leave your neighborhood, this might not be as interesting to you. But also, as you leave the neighborhood, the traffic patterns and the, the roads out of there are kind of a bit strange and so it's not easy to get in and out necessarily. The roads themselves, they kind of wind around as you leave the neighborhood, so it's it's just not a very intuitive uh, section traffic-wise as you leave Lock Haven. Another traffic thing too is you're off of Hampton Boulevard. If you live in Lock Haven and you want to go through the tunnel, the Midtown Tunnel, going towards, for example, Portsmouth or Suffolk, you've got to go all the way down Hampton Boulevard to the very south uh, western corner of Norfolk to get uh, through the tunnel, the Midtown Tunnel, and that can take some time, especially in rush hour. There's some backups that happen on Hampton Boulevard, so that whole long drive down Hampton can take more time than you might expect, especially in the more congested times. Now, if this is helping you at all, I would love it if you could hit that like button. It really tells other people like you that might like my videos too and helps spread the word, and I would greatly appreciate that. Now, the next one is real sneaky called Roland Park. This one has a lot of smaller houses in it, like from 900 square feet to 1,500 square feet. This one's cool because it's cheap. 
two to three hundred thousand dollar price range mostly, and sometimes even like two fifteen to two fifty. This is hard to find right now to find a neighborhood you might like and also the house you might like in the price range that you're gonna like uh, <laughs> anywhere in Hampton Roads. So finding one like this is a jackpot. So the reason why this one's cheaper is because all of our houses are smaller. So like the 900 to 1500 square feet most of the time. So some of these houses are three bedroom, one bath, three bedroom, one and a half bath. Some of them are larger and those larger houses can turn into four or five bedrooms over 300,000. But even still for the price, it's not that much. If you look at Roland Park, as to where it is. You see it's right off the Tidewater Drive here, but uh, on the west side, it's near off Wayne Creek, which eventually connects to the Lafayette River. Well, that turns into marshy areas near the, near, uh, the corners of the neighborhood, because you get some water access, you have some water views off the sides of the streets uh, on the edges of the neighborhood. In the location here, deep water access for what you're getting, you're talking probably around the five to $600,000 price range. Most of the houses with deep water access have not gone on the market in the last couple of years as the prices have increased in the market. So. It's hard to tell where that, that uh, price point's gonna land, but I think it'll be somewhere in that five, low five, mid five range. But this neighborhood isn't super fancy. You'll see as you drive through, they're not like, they're not huge houses, they're basic houses, but it's a very quiet and developed neighborhood. A lot of people here have lived here for a long time. And there's even a park, neighborhood park, Roland Park in here as well on the north side on Summers Drive. And it's really hard to find a house in a neighborhood uh, under 250, 300 that I think you might actually like a lot. And because, and the reason is because these houses are smaller. They design these houses a bit smaller than other parts of the city. And so because they're smaller, you can get them often a lot less price, but that's the trade-off, right? You know, sometimes that's the hack. Getting a house with a one bed bathroom or one and a half baths that's a little bit smaller, if it works for you, can save you a lot of money. And you're also like less, less than 10 minutes away from Norfolk Navy Base. So like 12, 13 minutes away from downtown Norfolk in Ghent. So it's not a far drive anywhere. And one of the best places I think you can find for the price anywhere in Norfolk. The drawbacks I've mentioned, small house, you know, sometimes one, one and a half baths, and nothing fancy. Okay, so the next neighborhood, it's called Riverview. Riverview is just north of the Norfolk Zoo, right off of Granby Street, on the east side of Granby Street. So, if you're looking on the map, coming right down here, you notice a lot of people talk about Colonial Place on, on the uh, west side of this area. Granby Street's right here, Riverview's right here, and it's got water access on the right side of the Lafayette River, and it's just a little nook. You turn off of Granby, you don't even often know that it exists. You're also close to Ghent, straight down 38th Street, you're right near Ghent, also near ODU. Go straight down Granby, down, down Church Street into downtown Norfolk. You're not that far away from there either. So this place is central. It's also got that same Norfolk vibe people are looking for that try and go after places in Colonial Place or Ghent, West Ghent. Similar vibes, some of these similar style houses, the traditional, like the older style Norfolk houses, large porches, tall ceilings, that kind of thing. But at the same time, you'll notice this price ranges will be different. So if you go in the, the south and west sides of this neighborhood, you're talking closer to two, 300, sometimes 350 price range, which is awesome. But again, if you get into different parts of it, the prices start getting up, 350 turns into 450, five and up. If you're closer to the water, larger houses, five, six, seven, 100,000, and then on the water, you can talk in sometimes even up to a million dollars. So it really spans a wide range. That's why sometimes you can get some good value in places like this. The size is in here, anywhere from like the 1300 square foot range, generally to up to around 25 to 3,000 thousand square feet and again of course the prices reflect that depending on the size of the house you're getting. It's right, you can literally walk to this huge park, Lafayette Park, which is next to the zoo, right across the street from there. And that park has a boat ramp too. But the location, the feel, sometimes even water access or water views, it's hard to find a neighborhood with prices like this in an area that's so close to other parts of in-demand uh, areas of Norfolk. Drawbacks would be, number one is I'd say it does feel different depending on where you are in the neighborhood and that's partly re reflected on the price. So it's not all the same, but I do think that's where you can find some value. Number two is that there are some areas that need flood insurance, especially as you get closer to the water. So, you know, the prices that might be lower, part of it could be because the flood insurance might factor in bumping the payment up, which makes the prices often drop or sag just a little bit. Now, the next neighborhood is one that you might not even know exists in Norfolk. One of the most unique and exclusive neighborhoods in Norfolk called Lafayette Shores. This one's got the French feel, really unique, and an area that has a real quiet vibe to it near the water. If you zoom in on, on the map, you're looking at where Lakewood is. You see Granby Street uh, on the west side. You've got Tidewater Drive here on the east side. But just south of there is this neighborhood right
right here, this like French looking street area, that's where Lafayette Shores is. See the clubhouse there and the road off of Willowwood Drive uh, is a long road that takes you, tucks you into the neighborhood so you don't feel like you're anywhere close to any major roads. So Willowwood Drive is an awesome little street but it connects to other two primary streets that, that Tidewater Drive and Granby Street and so you're pretty close to a lot of stuff. You're close to Ghent, you're close to um, downtown Norfolk, about 15 to 20 minutes away from Norfolk Navy Base but if you want to get to like for example uh, 64 to get anywhere, you're not that far away from there as well so it's pretty equidistant and accessible to a lot of different places. But Lafayette Shores is unique because it also is in an HOA which is really uncommon in anywhere in Norfolk. Most of these areas don't have this which includes a pool, tennis courts, gym, clubhouse right in the middle as you drive into the neighborhood and the price for the HOA is not even that not that much it's just over hundred dollars per month. And these houses aren't even that old so it's kind of unique in that sense too because most of, most of Norfolk is pretty old. Uh, these are built mostly in the 90s but the houses are huge you know three four thousand square feet a lot of times and they can be higher priced anywhere from like the fives upwards over a million dollars. Now the drawbacks to here the yard sizes aren't very big and some of them are, are decent but you'll notice that for the size house you're getting a lot of times I think that the, what people are expecting for a yard size to fit the size of the house doesn't always mirror what people are looking for. Number two is because you have a lot of lab, elaborate style houses sometimes you also have elaborate style floor plans and so if you're looking for something that's very specific and basic you know, some of these houses are fine but they're not all like that. Another thing as you get closer to the water more require flood insurance especially as you get right near the water so you know, even with the prices being where they are you have to add some sometimes for flood insurance and it's also kind of higher priced uh, but again for what you're getting it's gonna be hard to find this anywhere else. You want to know more information about Norfolk I've got more uh, videos here and I help people relocate into this area all the time. So if you have any questions about living in this area or need more information and want to relocate to this area please let me know. I've got my contact information in the description. You can reach out to me at any time and I will do whatever I can to help you relocate to this area and I will see you on the next video.